.NET 8 is here, and that means if you're a .NET MAUI developer, there's new features for you to take advantage of. And if you haven't upgraded already, it only takes seconds. I have a video showing you how to do it already, which is pretty awesome. But if you're like me, you sort of like to live on the cutting edge to get all the latest and greatest features and bug fixes before anyone else. I'm talking about nightly builds or patches or anything that you want directly from the .NET MAUI CI CD pipeline automatically and it's never been easier to do and it takes seconds to set up and that's what i'm going to show you how to do today so tune in Hey everyone, I'm James, and today we're gonna to talk about how we can automatically grab builds from the CI CD pipeline that's coming from the open source.NET MAUI project. Now, why would you wanna do this? Well, you might wanna do this if you wanna try out the latest and greatest features and bug fixes that are coming into those nightly builds. Just like if you're like me and you're on the preview version of Visual Studio or the insider builds of Visual Studio Code, you would like to test out the latest features. You know, I go into Windows, I turn on those insider previews and little checkboxes to get stuff earlier because I love testing that stuff. Now, what's great is that with .NET MAUI, it's super easy to tap into those nightly builds. And additionally, every single, you know, pull request that comes into .NET MAUI also generates artifacts. And those artifacts have, you guessed it, NuGet packages associated with them that you can pull into your .NET MAUI project. So what we're gonna do today is look at what's changed in .NET 8 and how you can take advantage of these new nightly builds. Okay, so I had a video that talked about how to upgrade your projects to .NET 8 for .NET MAUI, but there's really little difference. Uh, mostly there's some changes here in the .NET 8. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff for Mac Catalyst that's kind of brand new over here. And we still have our normal use MAUI, we have our normal implicit usings, our normal application IDs and things like that. And if you scroll down to the bottom, the biggest changes come to these two specific NuGet packages that have been added. So when you upgrade from .NET 7 to .NET 8, you want to add these two in. In fact, there's a third one, which is the Microsoft extensions logging debugging that you can optionally add in too. Now here you can see that it's using these uh, identifiers of MAUI version. And if you don't specify a MAUI version, well, it is specifically going to use whatever is installed on your machine. So here, whatever version of .NET 8 I have installed, so whatever patch is coming it, in the .NET MAUI workload is attached onto it, that is the version it's gonna use. Now you may wanna pin this, and when we say pin is specifying a specific version, but out of the box, pretty much by default, you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and do this, which is really great. Now the cool part though, is that you can actually override this MAUI version, which is really cool. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna scroll up to the top up here where I have this use MAUI. Now the first thing that we wanna do is I'm gonna pull up the notes here for the nightly builds. This is on the, the wiki over on the .NET MAUI repo. And here you can see that starting with .NET 8, it's possible to get builds from pull requests or anything like that. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this URL for the nightly builds coming from .NET MAUI. And these are coming from uh, Azure Artifacts over here. So Azure DevOps, so I'm just gonna copy that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Visual Studio. And you can also do this at the command line too, but I like to do it in the, in the GUI. I'm gonna say uh, manage package sources. And uh, under here, NuGet in the settings, there's package sources. And by default, you just have NuGet and then you have the offline packages. You wanna hit add new. And here I'm gonna say .NET MAUI nightly, okay? And then here, I'm just gonna say update and hit okay. Now what's interesting about this is if I go in and I say manage NuGet packages, what's pretty cool is that you can change the source. So I can change this over here to .NET MAUI nightly and I can browse. And what this is gonna show me if I select pre-release is all of the NuGet. So everything's a pre-release, right? So you can see here, we have all of these versions that are coming in. So Microsoft MAUI, we have a bunch of other stuff coming in. So here's all the, the Blazor hybrid components that are coming in. Here's the Microsoft MAUI controls that are coming in. And we can say, here's the latest pre-releases that are coming in. So 8.00 nightly 9602, which is kind of cool. Now, what's also nice is that you can actually tap on this nightly NuGet package feed over here, and this will take you into the Azure DevOps portal over here. So you can see this here, and you could filter them out if you want to, but here is the, the MAUI controls. So here we can see how we can install it, and specifically, this will give us the version number that we want to pin this in to pull in. 
So if we do want to use this specific nightly 9602, for example, we could obviously install the NuGet manually, but we would have to go and update all of our version numbers for all of them. So what we're going to want to do is actually override that Maui version inside of our CS prod. So double click on your My Coffee uh, app or whatever your app is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm simply going to say Maui version, just like that, and paste it in. Now, because I have all my NuGet packages set up over here, what we're going to see is that inside of our dependencies and our packages, um, this should um, now, if I go ahead and unload and reload this project, pull the new dependencies that are coming in. So here we're going to see the dependencies come down. Uh, and then this version that we've now specified of this nightly build will now come into our packages. There we go. So if we zoom in over here, I might not even need to unload it because I was looking at this, the, the logging debugging here. But here now we have Maui controls as a NuGet package, 8.0 nightly 9602, which is super cool. So that's really, really neat. Now, of course, you could do something else, which is you could, of course, use like a star annotation on here too. And that should also work, which should go ahead and pull the latest nightly coming into your release. And here you saw it actually, it went over here and then it said 9602. So if you're in the mood to always get the latest nightlies of .NET 8.0 or whatever version you're on, you can come in and specify this nightly with the wildcard at sign or the wildcard symbol right there. And then you're off to the races. All right, there you have it. It's just that easy, right? To get up and running and specifying and pinning those specific Maui version numbers. Now, of course, you can opt into those nightly builds. You can get the, the pull request feeds, or of course, you could pin it to a specific version of .NET 8 that's coming into your system as well to get those specific NuGet packages uh, if you're going ahead and moving. So every single time you update, it won't necessarily get the latest version if you specify it, uh, but you can decide if you want to pin that specific version, just like many people also pin the version of .NET that they are using in their projects. All right, that's going to do it. Super simple, pinning and upgrading to nightly builds of .NET MAUI. There's tons of great features in .NET 8 for .NET MAUI. I have a bunch of videos are right here on my channel. And of course, definitely check out all the videos from .NET Conf that just happened as well. Tons of great MAUI stuff. That's going to do for this video. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. It really helps the channel. And that's going to do it for this week. So until next time, Thanks for watching. Have a good one.